baby. I've had too much trouble with you, you already. Now... I ought to poke you in the bazooka. All right, all right. Bringing me here in the paddy wagon like a cop. And who says you aren't? Why, you... Uh... Go on, sock me. That's just about your speed, hidden dames. Go on, sock me. Don't tempt me, sister. Oh, hello. As you can see, I've, uh... I've got a little dame trouble here. Mr. Allen isn't here right now, but I'm sure he's expecting you. Yeah, we're expecting him. You might as well go on in. Come on. Hey, how can they get to go in when we gotta wait? Taxpayers first, toots. Sit down. <laughs> Make yourself comfortable. Dames, dames, dames. You know, this is a rugged racket. I've been at it since 6 o'clock this evening. Somebody called police headquarters and said Larry Lyons was in trouble. Well, he's the guy, you know, who makes those cheesecake pictures for the magazines. Well, when we got over there, Lyons' troubles were over. He shot lots of glamour girls in his day, but this time somebody got in the last shot. We found him dead. I had two witnesses lined up. Things were... Fairly well under control. Hello. Hall of Justice? Hello. Operator, stay on the line, will you? Yeah. No, I don't want the Marriage License Bureau. Got troubles enough. I'm calling the public prosecutor's office. Will you please? Oh, hello, Miss Kelly. Evans again. Give my message to Steve. Oh, he is? Swell, thanks. Bye. Well, the public prosecutor's on his way over. I suggest you two sit down and relax. Why keep me here? I've told you everything I know. Oh, Besides, I've got an 8 o'clock appointment. Okay, it's only a little after 7. Just sit down and relax. Well, Lieutenant, looks like you're going to miss the symphony concert this evening. Symphony? Are you kidding? When I sleep, I sleep at home. <laughs> and there's going to be no night work this evening. Got the case all wrapped up. Oh, uh, by the way, Mr. Blake, Mr. Allen. How do you do? How do you do? Yeah, uh, Lyons was uh, knocked off with a 32 caliber. 32, huh? Yeah. You find it? Uh, mm, no, but the medical examiner said it was a 32. Oh. Now, he was killed. Who killed him? Uh, oh, some glamour girl. Probably one time, he two times some dame just once too often. Any particular glamour girl? He seems to have known quite a few. Uh, well, as a matter of fact, there are just a few little details we got to pick up yet. But all we got to find is... The murder weapon? Yeah. Who used it? Uh-huh. And why? Oh, no, now, wait a minute, Steve. You know, I got something that's really going to wrap this case up in a very fast manner. Now, yeah, let's start at the beginning. Well, all right. There's the man who discovered the body. I'll tell you all about it. Oh, I'd be delighted. I'd like to get out of here. Besides the fact that I don't enjoy your company. Well, we'll try to make you a visit as pleasant as possible. Thank you. I'm George Blake, Lyon's next door neighbor. I live in the penthouse opposite, across the hall. Oh. You a friend of Lyons? Well, not exactly. Just an acquaintance. Actually, I didn't know the fellow very well. Socially, I mean. Oh, sit down, Mr. Blake. I was on my way to my own apartment to get dressed for dinner. When I, I thought I'd call in on Lyons for a drink. So, I knocked at the door and there was no answer. I tried the knob. It was perfect sleuth to probably find my fingerprints on it. The door seemed locked, so I continued on my way to my own apartment. But I kept thinking about that drink. Well, not that I'm intemperate, Mr. Prosecutor, but as a matter of fact, I keep very fit. You know, box at the club every day. But one drink before dinner, or ritual, you know. So I decided to go down to the cocktail lounge. I didn't know whether Lyons was dead or just wounded. So I phoned the police and told them Lyons was in trouble. And then I, I asked this person here to wait until the police arrived. Did you hear a shot, Mrs. Uh... Miss Yorkerson, Hilda Yorkerson. No, I did not hear anything. I just opened the door and there he was. I see. Well, Mr. Blake, you said you didn't know Lyons very well and implied you didn't care much for him. How does it happen you decided to have a drink with him? Yeah, how about that? Well, I... Uh... I don't mind having a drink with him. It's it's just that I I don't regularly associate with my inferiors. 
He'll regularly associate with his inferiors. Huh. Maybe he hasn't got any. Hey, look, Steve. I found this negative there in the dark room. It's still damp. Probably developed this afternoon. And it could have been shot today. Now, if it was, that little dame in there was here. You can't tell too much from that negative, but it, uh, I think I know who it is. Looks to me like uh, Beverly Hunter. She's a dancer over at the Ballet Theater, seen her a lot of times. A strictly business, you know. She does a nice little dancing act with a cute little tomato. Yeah, right. Not bad either. We better call on this, Hunter. I think we got time to get to the office and still make the theater by curtain time, don't you? Sure, sure. I'll have to ask you two to wait in my office. I can't wait. I have an appointment. Wait a minute. The prosecutor said you wait in his office. I don't take my orders from the prosecutor, nor from the police either. You might be able to bully some stupid cleaning woman, but I happen to know my rights, and oh, I'll see my turn. relax, journey. relax. Listen, your mouth's running in high gear, and your brain's only in neutral. What? Oh! Hey! What the... Oh, all right, Evans. All right? Hitting the cops against the law, you know. I know. We didn't have a reason to hold him before. We certainly have now. We'll have the boys pick him up. He'll let... I'll take you back to my office. You can wait with Miss Kelly while Evans and I play stage door Johnny's. few minutes, but stick around. I'll be through my act, and then we can... Who's the square? Can't you ditch him? No, I'm afraid not, Miss Hunter. This is Police Lieutenant Evans. I'm Stephen Allen, the public prosecutor. The cops? Yeah. This is not Beverly Hunter. The other half of the dancing act. Vera Murray's her name. Oh. I'd like to see Miss Hunter. What do you want to see her about? Look, Toots, we shoot the questions. Bev ain't here. I haven't seen her since last night's show. I gotta go on and do a single tonight. Well, maybe she skipped town or something. Oh? What do you think, I got her concealed on me somewhere? Not in that outfit. You get out of here. Now look, Miss Mary, you're not helping us by losing your temper, nor your friend either. Bev needs help like a duck needs a canoe. What do you want to know? Just where we can find Miss Hunter. I don't know. Maybe she's somewhere talking herself out of a bad spot. Yeah? What's the trouble? Trouble with her is trouble with men. Like Larry Lyons, huh? Oh, you know about Lyons. Uh, yes, we do. Well, the guy I mean is uh, named George Blake. George Blake? Who's he? Well, Bev's a, a good kid. You know, ambitious, sort of. She's kind of playing Blake for Santa Claus. Where did Lyons fit into this? Well, that's why she's in a bad spot. She fell for Lyons, too. And when Blake found out about it, he blew his top. And he's a pretty dangerous guy when he's mad. I'll tell you one time Look, when Look, dollface. I... Let's quit stalling. Where's Beverly Hunter? I don't know. Why don't you try the phone book? All right, come on, start talking. If all I had to do was talk to you, Buster, I'd sew my mouth up. Well, at that, a couple stitches wouldn't hurt it. You get out of here. Miss Murray. Larry Lyons was murdered this afternoon. Murdered? Larry? And you think Beth did it? Okay, okay. Look, you're not getting anything out of me. Nothing more. Gonna let her get away with it? No. I'm gonna give her a chance to come to us. You know, I think that's exactly what's going to happen. Anyway, she gave us a good tip on Beverly Hunter. Maybe we should try the phone book. Yes, who is it? Vera. Well, what do you want? Now, that's a funny question, honey. And I got a funny answer. I'm worried about you. After all, you did miss the show tonight. Well, I've quit the show. Sure. You quit the show every time you meet a man who you figure can take you away from it all. And you don't much care who you take him from. I suppose you mean Larry Lyons. I haven't seen him in weeks. What were you doing this afternoon? Wearing a blindfold? Oh, don't bother to lie about it. I saw you come out of his studio. All right, I did see him. If it makes you any happier, it's all over. Yes, it certainly is. You were a fool to get mixed up with lions. Larry was so crooked you could use him to pull corpse. But you shouldn't have killed him. Killed him? Never mind the acting. You were never very good at it. 
But I don't... I... I said never mind. Why I'm wasting my time to come down here and warn you, I don't know. But the cops are following I, me here, right here now. But I... I you'd better I, leave town, and you'd better think up a pretty good story to tell if and when they ever catch you. Oh, look, look. You can save the story, Miss Hunter. Tell it to the jury. It was a very nice conversation we heard, wasn't it? I knew a dame did it all the time. Warning me, were you? Warning me. You knew they were outside the door all the time. You knew they were listening. You brought them here. Oh, oh yeah. come on, now cut it out. Oh, all right. you need big ape. Okay. She didn't exactly lead us here. We were way ahead of her. We just waited around. We had an idea you two would get together. Well, I'll give you an idea who killed Larry Lyon. She did. She was crazy jealous because he was in love with me. The kid's out of her mind. Larry brushed her off weeks ago. Why should I be jealous of her? Oh, you liar! You liar! All right, all right. Now, that's oh. enough of that. He oh. brushed her off for somebody else, just like he brushed me off for her and some other dame for me. Oh, she killed him. You heard her say she was outside of Larry's studio when all while he trailed me there. And then you tried to make me leave town, so I looked guilty. Oh, I didn't trail her. I went in when she came in, and I left after she went out. I was hiding in a dark room, and I saw her. You saw her? Oh, she's crazy. Yes, sir, I saw her. Larry was taking pictures of her. And then they got into a fight. He hit her, and she fell, and they knocked over a camera. That's right. Camera was knocked over. And then she picked up a vase and... No, Bev! This is the last time you're ever going to lie about me, Vera. The last time. Don't move, any of you. I'm going to kill her. <laughs> A 32 caliber. Well, well. Hello, Pat. We just had a little mix up here, but I think we've cleaned it up now. You noticed what? Yeah. Maybe you're right. I'll go over and take another look. Thanks. Well, what's cooking now? Aren't we going home? No. You're going to take these uh, ladies back to the office. I'm going over to Lyon's studio. Ladies? How do you like that? I miss my dinner because one dame shoots a guy. Then I miss my sleep because another dame says she's found a clue. Oh, I tell you that... Excuse me. Hello. Yeah, Chief. Yeah? Sure, right away. Bye. <laughs> That was the chief. He wants all the people out there brought over to Lion's studio. By the way, you better come along. A few minutes, there may be a little excitement. Why the formality? Lions won't answer. No, you attended to that. Oh, listen, Angel. Oh, all please. right, girls. Come on in. Oh, Pat, I... Oh, hello. Looks like this time you're getting in just at the finish. Pat, I think you're right about that. Good for me. Let's go in. For the last time, keep your mitts off me. All right, baby, all right. Just sit down. I am sitting, ain't and I? And be quiet. You big baboon. I'm no baboon. Well, she's no baby. Anyway, I told you who killed him. Yes. That sounded quite reasonable until you said that Lyons was taking pictures of Miss Hunter. Oh, that's right, Chief. She was on that negative I found. If Miss Hunter killed Lyons, who took the film out of the camera? Who developed the negative? Yeah, who did develop them? You've got a better story than that, Miss Murray. You wouldn't believe the truth. Well, try us. You know, we might turn out to be very nice guys. Okay, here it is, wise guy. I did see Bev come out of the studio. Then I went in. Larry and I got into a fight. I picked up the vase and threw it at him. I ran out. I, I thought I'd missed him. But then when you said he was murdered, I... Well, I got panicky. I hey, might as well... Hey, well, wait a minute. Lyons wasn't hit with a vase. He was shot. There was a 30... You'll hear much better inside, Blake. Well, 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 Mr. Blake in person. Now that you're here, Mr. Blake, I'd like to pay you something. Oh, oh George! I thought I heard your voice in here, you little chick. George, cheat. please, please let me explain to you. I'll do all the explaining. She's been playing me for a fool. George, listen to me. I don't want any of your little baby face lies. I know all about you and Johnson. I watched you. Then this isn't the first time you've used that keyhole. Yes, I watched her. And I watched Lyons, too. And I'll tell you who killed him. It was... Oh, 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 oh and heal me teal. Oh, that's too bad. 
Another second, we'd have known who did it. I know already. Well, so why don't you tell us so we can go home? Just been waiting for the opportunity. First, I'll have to have some more equipment. Oh, Miss Kelly, would you bring that bucket over? Yes, sir. I, I will get you another one. This one has scrub rags in it. That'll do very nicely. What do you think you're doing? In case you hadn't noticed it, Hilda is one of the glamour girls on the wall. And here's the dress. And the gun. I thought so. You see, Lyons had three visitors. One of them came in after Miss Hunter and Miss Murray left. A long enough time after for Lyons to develop that film. Well, how do you like that? She killed Lyons, then she heard Blake coming, ran in here, put on a costume, and she's a scrub woman. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I knew a dame did it all the time. Yes, I did it. I was his model and he loved me until she came along and stole him. So what? Someone stole him from me, too. That's a lie. Why, oh, you? Oh, you're young. Good. Oh, you all right, all right. Come on, break it up. Break it up. Come on, get out. 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 You know, Pat really solved this one when she told me over the phone that she noticed Hilda's hands. They weren't those of a cleaning woman. If you want to spend another nice, quiet evening, why don't you try to join us again soon?